Sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be a rich nigga. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yo. Welcome, Sports Life and Hip Hop. Once again, back at it. Got the usual crew. Um, Zeke. <laughs> I was thinking a million different things, man. Let me quit bullshit, man. Got the got the got my man Zeke. Got the one and only Ricky Swing, and I'm Channel Seven. <laughs> Let's get into it. Man. Oh, yo, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Uh, fuck with us on YouTube, IG, SLHH Pod on Instagram. Um, thanks to the DSPs, all all the streaming uh, services. <clears throat> getting a lot of love, especially the last episode on us on um, Apple Podcasts, Deezer, uh, Spotify, all that. Salute, gratitude. Keep fucking with us, get this dope content. Let's get into it, man. Y'all put me on it. I didn't even know about the incident in Minneapolis, in uh, Minnesota. Um, another brother uh, <clears throat> falls falls victim to the to the the fatal. I will used to be the long arm of the law, the fatal arm of the law. Now I said. Uh, which I yeah, think, man. They doing that while the trial is going on. Man. While the fucking yeah. trial is going. On. Well, if he if, if they they protesting peacefully, no, and me Dante Wright, that's his name. Dante Wright. Dante Wright. Dante Wright. R. P. Yeah. Dante Wright. It looked a little rowdy to me, sir. It wasn't no, no idea what it was. was. After after this case, after this case, uh, the Chauvin case, if, it don't, if, if he's not guilty, it's going to get rowdy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. I was so. speaking directly in line with the with the with the with this latest. Cop killing, uh, not cop killing, uh, cop black man incident interaction. They said that cop was like a 26. She been on the force 26 years. Was she was she ang was she, was she Anglo? I think so. I'm not 100 percent positive, but I think she was. It's hard to tell. From you know, yeah, you know they don't re they don't release they, they information. Cop that did they don't release their information right away. Pending investigation. Yeah, they ain't gonna tell you who they was. Yeah. He, I mean, the backstory is for warrant for his arrest. And she she went for the she thought was the taser instead went for the gun. Twenty six years and she mistaken the taser. Wait, yeah, that, that's why I was telling that's why I was telling Zeke. But it, it it sounded super it sounded super funny when she was like, "Yeah, taser, taser!" But you're grabbing a gun. It's almost like she was, right it's almost like she was trying to like like clear herself. You know what I'm saying? Because she knew the cameras on. Yeah, like this nigga. Up. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, well, I was too. I could be wrong, but you know, all I know is, man, God will. I don't want to. I don't want to get pulled over by no cops no time soon. Period. Yeah, man. Oh, I mean, they said his warrant wasn't even nothing like crazy. It was like a a, a misdemeanor marijuana fine or something like that. <laughs> That's why. Marijuana. Why was he trying to? Why was he trying to get away though? I guess because of the warrant, I'm I'm not sure. I don't know why he got to jump back in the car like that though. That's my thing. Man. Doesn't make it right. I've I've, I've right yeah. I've seen a, a, I've seen a lot more heinous thing people do, and they get apprehended yeah. quite easily. This dude, mm -hmm. I mean, he didn't look like he's more than a buck thirty, and y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really had to get down on him. You know what I'm saying? So that's my um, thing though. Like this isn't. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? This ain't Breonna Taylor. This isn't George Floyd. You know what I'm saying? This ain't some shit where like, <clears throat> yo, yo, niggas got to be smart though. You know what I'm saying? To me, this this is like, yeah, yeah he was a, he was dumb as hell. Like, you know what I'm saying? In that situation, he didn't deserve to get killed, but he put himself 
I mean, if you know what I'm saying, he he reached back in the car, he hopped back in the car, like and he yanked drove off. off and drove off. You know what I'm saying? Like if if a nigga on the street or any if a regular nigga robbing you got a gunpoint, you're not gonna hop back in the car. You know what I'm saying? Why are you gonna hop back in the car with with the fucking with a cop with a multiple cops on you? You know what I'm saying? Like true enough, they had no right to shoot. You know what I'm saying? No reason to shoot, but you give them you know what I'm saying a little leeway. You know what I'm saying to actual actually say they felt in danger by him reaching back in the car. Same mm-hmm. with um, same with uh Blake. Well, what, what was it? Not David Blake. What was what was his name? Uh, Blake. I know in Wisconsin, Wisconsin, in Wisconsin. You talking about the Blake guy? The guy he was going for. Yeah, they say he was going for it. He's right, they he said he had a knife car, in yeah. his way. Dumb shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Why are you walking and reaching into your car? You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't feel that like he had to unload the clip, but you know what I'm saying? But fuck, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just gotta be smart, man. Just, just come on, man. You already know how they get down out here. You know and, and, and in our in, in our defense, if I could if I could play devil's advocate, even when you smart, you still could get lit up. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Like if you smart, if you dumb, there is no like all you could do, like people have even had their hands up and still have gotten shot. Oh yeah. So there, like I don't, I don't know what solution or how to react. You know what I'm saying? Or how to teach our, you know, young black boys. Like, what do you, like? All you can say is give them the. You gotta say yes, sir, yes, ma'am, and like just have your hands outside the car. And even that doesn't work, as you can see by the the uh, the army ranger, the uh, yes, ranger. Yeah that got, you know, tased and, I mean, no, he got pepper sprayed pepper in the face. Right. And he was, and he had the, the gun on him saying, yo, I'm a ranger. I got, you know, I got it on me. Mm-hmm. He still sprayed his ass. So, yep. and he was smart. He did the smart way. So I don't know, like, what universal way can you do to remedy this? You know what I'm saying? Like, is there a way to react? Is there a way to, to present yourself? Because even when you present yourself in an orderly fashion, you still get Fucked up. Right, so do it. So to comply. Do what you're supposed to do. Make sure you're not in the wrong. If they gonna kill you either way. If they are gonna, you know, what I'm saying do you wrong either way. Just make sure you're not in the wrong. You know what I'm saying. If they do you wrong, and you're doing wrong, you, you know what I'm saying. Nine times out of ten, they're gonna get off. You know what I'm saying. Just like the Blake. Just like uh, the, the, yeah. the, you know what I'm saying. Because of that simple, he didn't have to unload the shit in him. That was fucking bogus as hell. But because he did the dumb shit and reaching back in his car, you know what I'm saying? Hands not, not being able to sing, they don't know what he's pulling out. But that's one, yeah, that's, that's one case, case, that's one instance. But then you got the instance same thing with what just happened dude, right now. Well, you got the in instance car. where the, the dude was selling, what is he selling in New York? He was selling fucking Newports. And dude fucking got fucking, you know what I'm saying? He right, got choked out. Right. He got tapped right. out. Was, like, dude, was, and he didn't do yeah. nothing. He said, yo, like, I'm good. I'm, like I'm done, like whatever. His hands was up, and they still tapped him out. So yeah. I'm not saying that you should like just be smart. You shouldn't be. I'm not saying you should. It. I wish it could be that easy to just say be smart. That's all I'm saying. So I wish smart. you could just. Yeah, it shouldn't. I, it, it shouldn't it, come it, with it, all that. It, it, it shouldn't come with all that. I agree. Yo, just be smart. But I don't think even if you're smart, you still get fucked up. Yeah. Right, but I'm saying, all right. So what you going to just you you got the you got the heat on you. You got guns pulled on you. You just gonna hop in and pull off? Light I'm saying, up. I'm saying the results are the same whether you're smart or not. But now you have a defense if you actually doing what you're supposed to be doing. How does the dude in New York have a defense? He's dead. No, I'm talking about. I'm saying that's why I said this isn't Eric. This is. What was that, Eric Garner? What's What's the mm-hmm. brother's name? Eric Garner. What right. like I'm saying, it's this a bunch of Eric Garner. This isn't George Floyd. This isn't that Brianna, where they these were defenseless people. You know what I'm saying? Had no. If you're in a situation where you have some control, you know what I'm saying? Be smart. Comply. File a lawsuit. A file a lawsuit. File a complaint after it's over. But you give them. You know what I'm saying? You give them just a little bit of a of of a mile of an inch. They're gonna take a mile and blow your fucking head off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, They're gonna say, hey, "I thought it was a taser. I didn't know no, what he no. was reaching for in the gun in the, in the car." You know what I'm saying? I, I see what you're saying. I'm just saying, like, just to say, be smart. 
Like that's not gonna me say, save you. I'm not gonna say that's the end. Oh, okay. That, yeah, okay. That, okay, you know yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, okay, saying, thank you. You know okay. what I'm saying? Cover your ass. Do you okay, know what I'm cool, saying? Cool. Make sure you're not in the room. Yeah. I'm glad that you ain't because I'm like, man, you can't even say be smart because they still will blast. No, but no, yeah, yeah. That's, that's you said I'm I'm, I'm I'm okay. Yeah, that's okay. like dude. Did y'all see the video of dude in Cali where they walked up on him? And arrested him and the uh because the chick had called the police with her and she was like, yo, I'm calling the police on my boyfriend. He, he's white, but she didn't give him no other description. And they walked up on dude taking out the trash. He's like, yo, he like, what you doing? I live here. And as they pulled up to him, one of the cops was like, hey, is this him? And the other cop was like, I don't know, probably. <laughs> and they they wow. walked up on dude like, hey, hey man, turn around. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm taking out the trash. He's like, hey, just turn around. And they tried to arrest him. They they did arrest him. Took the man out for going taking the garbage out. Because they didn't even know who they was looking for. The cop was like, yo, we don't even know who we're looking for, but just turn around so we can arrest you. <laughs> yeah, I ain't on front. I, I'm saying, while I'm sitting here saying, like, just comply. That situation, I don't know if I could. I would be here. Hey, he was going on. He's like, hey, he's, he's asking for help. He's like, man, he's saying, get off me, all that. And they take any, like, oh, what the fuck? And, any type and the, of chick, the chick who called the cops came down like, yo, this is not him. But they were still trying to arrest him. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> happened in Cali. I forget. And this happened like, this happened like two years ago and they just released the body cam footage. Wow. Fucking crazy, man. What can you do? So, fucking pray you don't get pulled over. Or pray a cop don't mistake you for somebody. No, pray a cop ain't trigger happy. Mm -hmm. Right. Pray a cop ain't had a bad day. <laughs> pray, pray a cop that his wife didn't make his, his favorite favorite meal. <laughs> <laughs> right. Just pray. I mean, you yeah. <laughs> Which, which Joe will do. Right. Go, God on, forbid, go back to our God episode. Go, go to our Man. previous episode, Joe. I think you you might will you might want to pray on that. Then. Still haven't done it, but, but it's, just, <laughs> it's still on my to-do list, man. I just don't, do want, I, don't I, just, I just don't want to be in a situation where, where I'm doing it uh like out of desperation. It's still on my to-do list. Is it laundry or something? <laughs> Oh, yeah, like I say, I'm still going back and forth whether it's really worth it. No, no, I get you. I get you. You know, I get you. Well, we lost. Uh, we lost. Uh, probably a, a favorite MC, one of our favorite MCs out of all three of us. We lost Definitely. DMA. Man, dog. New shirts on dope fits, by the way, but for DMX. Proceeds <laughs> going to pay his homage. Uh-huh. Proceeds going to his family. Yes. Via, <laughs> via me. I'm, I consider myself part of the hip hop family. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 man. Ooh, yeah, that was, um, yeah, OD, the, the the fight, the fight with drugs, man, the fight with uh crack. Well, we don't know. Do we know if it was crack? I don't know if it was crack per se, but well, not now they saying he took the COVID shot a couple weeks before, and that gave that made him have a heart attack or something. Wow, I'm seeing that now. I don't know how true it is, but I'm sure all the years of drug use had something to do with it also. Yeah, I'm sure That's it didn't help. Yeah. I mean, he was fighting. Man, like, get, get, let me get your thoughts individually. Like, Rick, what you, I mean, how you, you know what I'm saying? How did it affect you? Like, us being all avid hip hop fans, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, he's one of those artists where, like, he was very, um, he's very in tune with his spiritual side. So it was like, not, it was it was it wasn't it wasn't sudden because you knew he was battling demons for a long time right. so you know what i'm saying like um it was just i mean it's sad but it wasn't as 
blow. It wasn't as uh, heart wrenching. I mean, it was bad. Don't get me wrong, but like, it wasn't as bad as like Nipsey because Nipsey had, like, he was about to be on a wave. His potential was about. He was about to reach his potential. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying DMX life should be taken away from him. I'm saying like mm-hmm. the DMX that I knew, you know what I'm saying? Like he was, you know, making hot music and he was inspiring people all over the world. And you know what I'm saying? Like he even said it, like I've lived my life. Like I've had a good life. Mm-hmm. So, and he reached 50 to be, to deal with all the things, mm-hmm. the drugs, the, the alcohol, the, the, um, you know what I'm saying? The, the drugs and alcohol, I'm, I'll keep it at that. The drugs and alcohol mm-hmm. that he was bad, he was dealing with and going in and out of rehab, like it was miraculous that he even lasted till 50. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? So, and mind you, I, I'm not saying that I'm, you know, his life should be cut short, but I'm just saying like the way that he, the way his life was orchestrated, he should have been dead a long time ago. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, like, it was gut wrenching with Nipsey because one, it was you know a fellow member, someone you know what I'm saying someone of his own ilk, and then two, he hasn't re- he didn't reach his potential. He didn't he didn't fulfill what he had wanted to do musically, um, you know what I'm saying in the world aspect. Where DMX has, like I said, I repeat myself. DMX has even stated like I have done everything that I have put out. You know what I'm saying? Every goal that I've had. Musically, he's done everything you could do. You know what I'm saying? There is nothing that he didn't accomplish. He's accomplished everything. He's accomplished the highs of the high. Financially, he has accomplished everything. Musically, um, he he produced a lot of kids. Like, he had children. He he raised some 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 kids. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, it's, it still hurts, though. It sucks. But I, I'm surprised... If honest opinion, I'm surprised he got this far, but you know, RIP, and he's not in pain anymore. Duh. And he made a and he made a classic movie. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Romeo must die. Uh, <laughs> that was, that was one of the first movies I got on DVD. Like when DVDs was like first coming out, Romeo Must Die, Matrix. That was some of the DVDs we were buying back in the day. You know, really that movie was, to me that movie was, it's it's a classic bad movie to me. Like Romeo you know, Must Die? <laughs> what do you mean was Romeo Must Die? Fucking belly, man. Oh, he's talking about that. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. You a bad really movie. thought Romeo almost died was the classic movie? Bro, Romeo, Belly is not a bad movie. Man. Hmm? Be- Be- Belly is a music movie. video for two hours. Right, right, right. It, it had a bunch of scenes that I don't, you know, I don't want to sit on the man in any form or fashion <laughs> today, man. So I, I, I hold my belly thoughts back, but it is, it is a classic, and I could definitely. It's, it's an acquired it. taste. You either love it's it or you hate it. it. If you're a hip hop you know, man, you know people that hate it. Oh yeah, I know a lot of people that hate it. My my dad. <laughs> <laughs> people my age, not really. What is, what is your thoughts, uh, Joe, on on DMX on it and his untimely death? What'd you say? What is your thoughts like? What is how did you feel? You know. Um, I would say uh, after uh, here we go Af- after Guru and Prodigy, this definitely resonated with me the most because um. As a like, I think um, my judgment of him is is his character as a man, not as much as literally really for his music. Because <clears throat> from a music standpoint, I uh, you know what I'm saying. To me, he has one classic album that's just engraved in stone, and it's the rest of him, the rest of his. He got nothing. He got nothing but a litany of hits on under his belt. But I mean, but like. Mm-hmm. Got one classic album that's almost like Illmatic, like Nas is Illmatic, like that. Hell is hot is like that's a heavy hitter. After mm. that, you know what I'm saying? I start feeling like I've heard this album before, you know what I'm saying? Over and over and over again. So I, you know what I'm saying? Musically, I wasn't just like, you know what I'm saying? Just like on them, like I, I kind of hopped off the DMX bus musically uh, pretty quick. I understand that. After I was definitely on that bus, but. As a man, dog, like you know what I'm saying, the stuff he openly talked about, like 
his drug use, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, his character, you know what I'm saying? Like, and also, uh, by the way, let me say pause before I say this. Uh, you know, the guy, his physical, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so he was a, a ripped up in shape cat. And I think he had the natural genetics, like LL and 50 that documented lifting weights and working out. Yeah, I don't this think that's just ripped. Weights. Like, you know, so he just had that. It may have been the crack, but <laughs> he was just in some shape. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it's I don't think it's any footage of DMX in a gym. <laughs> right, right. I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't. But you never saw him until the later years of his. You never saw him fat and not. You know, yeah. I don't count this last shit. I'm talking when the in the heyday that nigga was like. I mean, the, the, he didn't run out of energy. He was on stage right. going crazy, mm -hmm. start to finish. You know what I'm saying? Like. And I paused it. I, I paused it before I got into it. But you know what I'm saying? Like as a man, you know what I'm saying? That's where I think, you know what I'm saying? Like like other artists have died, like it was musically and it's a combination of musically and as a man that where it hit me. But for, for X, it was more his character, you know what I'm saying? The, the realness, you know what I'm saying? And, and that he was in shape. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm like, that might be a little bit of jealousy like he's son of a bitch I don't like he stay ripped up like this and have a touch of fucking gym and do, does drugs and uh, play with his dogs all day. <laughs> but uh hey man I wonder if Boomer is up there with him sure haven't got a kennel <laughs> <laughs> Zeke, your thought? Uh, man, X is one of the, he's one of those artists that when he first came around, I remember him like standing out like, yo, who is this dude? And you don't really get that too, well, you kind of got it a lot back in the day, but it's, it's not a lot of artists where you, you can remember where you was when you first heard them and you, you, you immediately went out. This is like before the internet. So I remember seeing DMX on TV for the, uh, I think the first time I seen it was the 4321 video. And I didn't know, I didn't know who he was. Like I seen the video and he, I think he had the verse before, I think he had the verse second to last before LL. I'm like, cause I knew Red Man, I knew Method right. Man, and of course I knew LL. I'm like, who is this dude with the exactly. dogs with goggles on? <laughs> and to me, he didn't get off. Like I, you know, I wasn't impressed by. Oh that. no, I like that verse on there. You didn't like that? No, you I, didn't like. You didn't like that? No, I was like, who is this fucking Onyx guy, <laughs> Onyx guy with the yelling? <laughs> I did, I was wondering who he was. I was like, man, dude, he kind of decent. And I'm like, but who, I'm like, who is this dude? Then Rough Riders Anthem came out. Or was it, was it Get At Me uh, Dog first? Get At Me like, Dog. Yeah, Get At Me Dog came out. In the I didn't like that fucking, either. You didn't like Get At Me Dog? Not until he said, until he dissed K Solo. When <laughs> solo, I was like, <laughs> I don't like the song, but I was like, well, you know, I pause. I love beef. I love rap beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You know what I'm but go ahead. Yeah, go. Get At Me Dog came out. The video fucking looked like insane black and white in the tunnel going crazy. I'm like, yo, who is this dude? I'm like, oh, this is the same cat from the 4321 video. Then Rough Riders Anthem come out. I'm like, yo, this dude got a whole movement already. Rough Rider, I'm like, what is, what is a Rough Rider? <laughs> That's when I was just blown away. I was yeah, like, oh, I'm like, yo, he he said, I don't about, care about what like, I you could, about. you could tell he is about to be a star yeah. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like one of those things where like you kind of you grow up with him, you know. You've seen him from you've seen him from the beginning all the way to up to now, where he's not really putting out music as much. I mean, I think he was recording. I think he recorded some stuff for uh, Griselda recently. Yeah. But like he could see he was on the on the tail end of his career, and it's like you've seen seen the rise and fall, man. It's, it's just crazy. Yeah, that is Griselda on his new album, by the way. X got a new album. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it's out or it's coming out? It's coming out. Uh, what you oh, call okay. it? Uh, somebody from Rough Riders was on Sway this morning. 
They was running down. Oh, okay. feature. He was like, it's, it's feature heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. something he usually doesn't do outside of the camp. Right. You know, yeah. This one feature heavy, so. Yeah, yeah it's just it's crazy. sad, man. <clears throat> it's fucked up how he got on the shit, too, man. I, yeah. That's, that's yeah. something we, we just learned about recently. I watched yeah, the whole, I, I'm telling you. I didn't know he was on crack the whole time. Like, oh, it's dark and hell is hot. He was on drugs the whole time. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Put out a classic. <laughs> Man, you know. He got two, he got he got two classics on his belt. Under his belt. You give flesh on my flesh a classic status? I don't yeah. I think it's close. He got bangers on that now. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But some, it's very close. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get I got him as two. He got two classics. Two classics on this belt. Y'all watch uh, go ahead, what's up? Mm-mm. Go ahead. I watched uh, the, the drink chats with Cam. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a great good, episode. Yeah. Wait a minute, and then there was X. That wasn't a classic. Nah, I like uh, yeah, yeah, a couple bangers. Uh, on. Not to me, not to me anyway. Like I say, <clears throat> and I felt like X. I heard this album twice already. Now you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, yeah uh, then there was this guy party up on, so that's a classic, right? Yeah, like I say, he got hits. You know what I'm saying? A litany <laughs> of hits. You know what I'm saying? That's probably I, I hate that song. What? Uh, party up. You don't yeah. like that? No. No, oh, man. man. It got played out. It's on every Dude, that, movie soundtrack. You like that song? Commercial. Yeah, they play it in. Yeah, What's it. My Name is on there. That was hard. Yeah, that was a bang. Which I really want. That was my shit. Oh, like that's, I that's said, a, like, got, uh, the song with Cisco. I thought that was on his first or second album. That was on the no, that one on the first. The first album was straight, straight hardcore. Second album, he got more. Well, the first album had uh, How's It Going Down. Right. That 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 wasn't. It still was hardcore, even though it was a, a love battle. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> still was hardcore. But um, uh, yeah, man. But all right, Peter. Cameron. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Cameron. It was a pretty dope interview, man. It's about what I expected out of Cam. <laughs> you did yeah. really? A lot of a lot of arrogance. A lot of uh. <laughs> He 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 matured. He matured though, man. Like I didn't know. Like he's arrogant, but he's not as arrogant as I thought. Like he seemed like he got some sense. Like I thought it was arrogance with no sense. But he Cam actually is a smart. Ah, He's smart, and he's an unbelievable writer. Crazy, unbelievable writer shit. I like what he said. He, I like what he said when he was like, "Man, like I get into all these beefs with people." He was like, "I never started. I never right. kick it off. Like with Jay, I never started it." He he said the story with Jay, and PD um, confirmed with Nas, it. With Nas, he yep. huh huh. I said, and PD confirmed it. Right there, yeah, and PD confirmed. Yeah, right on the spot with Nas. He didn't come at Nas. Nas mm-hmm. came at them. Nas came at him on the radio. <laughs> Rob, Nas came at him on the radio. Like he that's like, like that's like coming at somebody on Twitter right now. Hot ninety seven, the hottest <laughs> fucking platform at the time. Like he just just called him to air the man out. Fifty. He talked about uh, where they would the label they was at with some <laughs> graveyards for rappers. And he like, dude, yeah. I ain't got nothing. To, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He's like, dude, I ain't even do nothing to him. They, and he like, said man, they was like the only rappers over there, so he know. Yeah, it, so you know he. One of my favorite disses of all time, by the way, man. <laughs> Show some courtesy, Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else he said? Well, May, the Mace thing, Mace, it, it, like, like, that's some kid shit. That's like from the beginning when that's they were young. Man, so yeah. like, right. You know, but yeah, but see, he's, he was like, man, like, that's different. That's different type of thing. But Jim Jones, he said, I'll never approach Jim Jones. I'll never diss Jim Jones. Yeah, he said, never he, diss Jim or Jim Jones. Never had, yeah, he said he'll never diss them. You know what I'm saying? Which he hasn't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think like I, I said, does Jim does Jim diss Cam? That's what I was going to ask. No, you could just tell that like that's family like, beef. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Just like Mace, like Mace is kind of family beef, but then it's like you know annoyance. It's like man, this nigga Mace dissed them though. You know, exactly. But Cam never dissed Mace. I'm a, right, he did. Yeah. 
He, he did, put a whole um, joint on. Well, I think he, he didn't did, do yeah. it until after Mace did it. after, yeah, he didn't do it until after Mace. But mm -hmm. uh, the Jay thing was surprising. Jay took his his song off. The to bitch like, for that. Nah. Yeah. Matt, Jay was hey, coming. Beans was more of a bitch, though. He actually cracked the CD. <laughs> I never knew PD Crack wasn't with, like, he wasn't a state property dude. They only put oh, him yeah. with state property because of Philly, but he really was a Dipset member before, mm -hmm. if anything. Mm -hmm. That was, like, that's something I never knew. You knew that, Joe? I knew he wasn't state property. I didn't know if he, I didn't know, you, you said he was with Dipset? He was, he was with cool Jewel. With he was cool with them before uh, state property. They yeah. only put yeah, they yeah. only put him on state property because of Philly. That was it. But he was cool with Cam. Cam actually kind of was putting him on. I to put him on, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and you know, what I'm saying what I took away from the interview is also like how Cam, like if you with him, like if you in his camp or that, he just wants you to get bread. Like he'll look yeah. out for you. Like he ain't he ain't gonna like shit on you or nothing like that. But if you trying to get money, he cool. Right. I mean, I respect that. Like, he not of a ass. He not much of a. I didn't get that he was an asshole, or anything like that. I actually got a different perspective from. Him. No, no, I, I, you know, what I'm saying I saw. I mean, like I said, I, that's kind of what I expected out of him. Like, I didn't get the the shit. Like, I get asshole out of Jay, out of you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I get arrogant asshole out of out of, out of you know what I'm saying out of hole. But I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never took that out of camera. I, you know what I'm saying? He's an arrogant, cocky motherfucker, rock the pink furs, pink pink yeah. Cadillacs and shit. He's just a flamboyant nigga. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, all them Harlem niggas. Oh, like, like, yeah, like, like Harlem. Big L. <laughs> he had an yeah. album called The Flamboyant. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. that's the mm -hmm. Harlem niggas, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? He, he's a fucking artist, man. Like, he, man, he, he got a, 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 a crazy discography if you really look at it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy how he learned a lot from SDE. Like when he got to the rock, he was like, nah, like he's actually a student. Cause he was like, y'all, he's like, man, like I learned mm -hmm. from when I was on Unentertainment that like mm -hmm. certain way to move. And he like, he applied that. And I was like, man, that's kind of dope. Like, I like how he moved. Like he got better over time. Like, no. Mm -hmm. He was a student of the game, so like he would do different things once he got to, you know, once he matured and he got older, he did things, he moved differently. And that's what you're supposed to do as an artist. If you're in that realm, if you're in that lane, and musically, like you're supposed to improve, you're supposed to get better. You're supposed to learn from your mistakes, and that's what he did, he learned from his mistakes. A lot of oh, artists yeah. don't do that. He'd be a, a lot dumb, of dumb don't do that. Get done again, you know what I'm saying? He come to come to the rock, you know what I'm saying? He done had two albums before, and you know what I'm saying? He get jerked both times. He's gonna do it a third time, you know what I'm saying? He was like, "Nah, I'm making my own moves." Like, All right? Dame was Bro. bullshitting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's why I like. He was a go getter. Like he yeah. moved on his own. Like he right. didn't wait for someone else to tell him to move. He did shit on his own. Mm -hmm. Like he is one of the few artists that that kicked off the mixtape wave you know what i'm saying he's like one of the first the dipset period was one of the first dudes like that really did kick off but now yeah. like, used as mixed it out so yeah and like like you were saying before he is a super smart like you could tell cam knows the music business very well mm -hmm. it's like yeah. when he's talking about uh re-recording because i didn't i didn't know about that the uh re-recording your songs so you can own the masters because it's a statue of limitations on there. Taylor I didn't know that eight. shit. Taylor Swift <laughs> eight years. Did that. Who? Taylor Swift just did that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Taylor Swift did that. Uh, I didn't know, but DMX did it too. He did. Yeah. Like if you go look yeah. up Rough Riders Anthem, it's another, it's a re-recorded version out now. Damn. So Def Jam gets none of that. Don't sound the same at all. Yeah, it's oh. it's the, it's the similar, but you could tell it's it's different. Like they they redid the beat. They don't really. You can tell you're a little older. <laughs> right. But that's what Cam was talking about doing. But hey, you can just re record your shit. And he was he explained to Nori how to do it. Like, yo, just you could go re record fucking Super Thug, then use your fucking inter your IG platform. Like, yo, if you want to hear Super Thug, go here and listen to it. Instead of going to Def, whoever on it, what, what label was Nori on? Jive, uh, Army Boy. 
Yeah, yeah. it might be to- Tommy Boy. Yeah. Which which one? Because uh, he he switched. Uh, he went to Dev Jam for a little bit, a little bit, didn't he? He did. He didn't go. He didn't go to Dev well, Jam till later on. To what? Yeah. Was, early, after after what? Super Thug was probably Tommy Super Thug. Boy. Tommy Boy. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, yeah, just re-record your shit, and you own it now. I didn't think I didn't think of that, that it would be a hard oh, yeah, on music though. But he said eight. Like he Cam said knows that. <laughs> he said eight years. He said after eight yeah. years, yeah. statute of limitations. Right, right. You could do your shit, but I mean that's what happens when you got lawyers and you pay for that shit. <laughs> you start, you start paying attention. But you know, that's why what's when your you favorite jerk? <laughs> yeah, you get jerked enough, you learn. What's your favorite uh, Cam album? Is it Come On or? Mm. Purple Haze will come home. Purple Haze. Mine is still yeah, SDE. Come home. I like SDE too. That's my favorite, dog. Come home is cold, dude. Come yeah, home. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that was his. Yeah, his he had the gr- the greatest production of, you know, he had the, <laughs> the who's who of production right. on that Come Home with me. Yeah. I was let down by uh new uh, uh what was it the, the New York City joint with Jay. You, you like that? I, you didn't I like that? Down. I wanted I expected better out of Hove, man. <clears throat> no, he probably half faster because it was K. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he half assed it and I got I, I'm let down by it. I was like, what? <laughs> Is he yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't terrible though. It wasn't yeah. horrible, but it wasn't the uh, at Jay at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was expecting. Yo, I went straight to the track. I remember. <laughs> I went straight to that. I skipped all that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, what do you call it? Uh, that beat uh, hard. With, with Joel, all that, man. <clears throat> I think Joel's is supposed to have a verse on there. I think he do got a verse on there, like a, on another version. Mm-hmm. Anderson, man. Who's Cam on your list, uh, Zeke? He's like a top 20 favorite artist for you. Top 10, top uh, 20. Is Cam a top 20 favorite of yours? Top 20, higher than that. Probably top five, top 10? Yeah, if you're per- I'm saying definitely personally. top 10. Joe, I, I don't think Cam is your top 10. Mm, timey, timey, slimy, timey, slimy. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, but I'm I still he's dope to me though, but he ain't nah. He ain't in my top ten. Favorite DMX be. album. Who's that? It's your favorite DMX album. That was I. Yeah, probably that was I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, not, you. it's not Grand Champ. <laughs> <laughs> Although, da-da, da-da, that's my shit, though. I go, yeah, man. You didn't like, you didn't, you didn't like get it on, get it on the floor. Nah. Get it on the floor, dude. <laughs> I yeah. can't run. I, 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 I get the bouncing. <laughs> yeah, when the fuck the, was yeah, you bouncing? What about uh, the Great Depression? I didn't like that at all. Which one? What was on that? What was his hits off of that? What was his bang off? Uh, Oh, who we be was on Great Depression. Who we yeah. be? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Be right here. That was on there. Like I said, uh, a litany of hits. Yeah, you gonna find the hit on the DMX album. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Wonder, yeah. Towards the end, of course, he tailed off like a lot of people do. <laughs> <laughs> he had an album called Year of the Dog again. <laughs> He just he couldn't he just, had to, he just said again he just put again on it yeah dot 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 again <laughs> <laughs> that's like Jay I don't even out. remember this album <laughs> yeah I don't either Lord no I do. I do what was uh, oh we in here with the singer we in here what is that Swizz B stayed on a DMX album though yeah he know he know where his bread is buttered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he released. I know he released the greatest hits album. When did okay, Joe? You're you're historian. I know Zeke is as well. When did DMX have beef with Ja? Um, I don't know what was that? You mean like year or what do you mean? 
I'm saying, like, what track was it where they were beefing? I don't recall. I don't know if they really. I don't know if they he ever released a diss track with Ja Rule. Which one was it? Uh, with I thought it was like some remix he put out with him and uh, Busta Rhymes when Busta Rhymes called a nigga Beatrice. Um, <laughs> I said, know Busta Rhymes dissed him on uh, the Hail Mary. Busta Rhymes this jaw. Yeah, he yeah. called him Beatrice, man. Busta this jaw. Yeah, on the, I, on the Hail Mary remix with with M Fifty. I think it was M Fifty and Busta. Maybe that was it. It was around that time because that's when Ja was going around saying he was. He was the new Tupac and all that shit on the radio. I, I remember oh, DMX yeah. dissing him on the radio. I don't know if he ever released a, a diss track to him. Man. I don't know if John they were, released a diss track to DMX. But they were beefing though, right? Yeah, yeah. But this was like beefing, radio yeah. shit. Everybody was dissing Ja for a little while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Nas, been... Nas, Nas didn't diss Ja. He, he, he joined him. <laughs> oh, yeah. He joined the ink. <laughs> Did he really join him? Like, you know what I'm saying? Not really, but he's not he's really. He's affiliated. Yeah, no, he was affiliated with yeah, him. He is affiliated. I know. Yeah, everybody thought he joined. It was Super John and Meiji of him, too. It didn't even look right. <laughs> it didn't even seem, it didn't even seem it like fit. a cohesion of yeah. music. Yeah. It didn't fit. Right. Like, Nas and Ja, they don't even look like they mesh well. Like, they don't even look like they hang out together. Cohesion is the right word. It did. It didn't. It didn't flow, you know. Just like we, everybody, like, what the hell? Is, what is this? Like, I remember you know, being—he he was in one of their videos or something, right? That yeah, tears, Nas was that Tears remake. That that yeah. Tears. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that shit, man. Y'all niggas better leave y'all alone, no shit. Y'all got some shit. If you know, Vinny, Vinti, Vinici, or whatever, that was a that was a dope yeah, album. That was a good classic, album. but it was a dope album. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. It's murder. I wasn't, a, I wasn't a big that guy. murderers compilation was decent too. It was. That I didn't the murder ain't compilation. I had, I had some songs on it too. A couple. Too that much whole much. rough that whole Rough Riders Murder Inc. collab and genre during that was golden age right there. Yeah. That was pretty that was some good shit. That was Def Jam was just on man, untouchable. <laughs> Def Jam's like check for you, check for you, check <laughs> right, for right, you. Right. Spin, spins everywhere. We got all it's the spins. Us. Man, they had major spins on everything, man. Uh-huh. Nothing wrong, and and what no, when they uh like the 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 parent the parent for um violator, what? violator. Oh yeah, viol yeah, hell yeah, violator. But I'm saying, but, but even in Cash Money's young, you know, what I'm saying in in the young Cash Money, weren't they the parent company for for Cash Money? Def Jam. That's why they were they was on that Hard Knock Life tour, not Hard Knock Life, but uh. Oh yeah, they all in the Universal, I think. Or was a universal? Yeah. I, I knew yeah. they had some type of connection. Like they was just getting money from all yeah, angles. Universal, Universal Music Group was on top of all of them. Hell yeah, man! But um, what'd you call it? What about um? Unless you had any more, look, you, you I got any more on that? I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, the Cam thing that 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 really uh. It made me watch. Uh, you can edit this or whatever. It made me watch uh, Killer Season, which was a trash movie. Dude. <laughs> I remember. I've not it. seen that movie. Nope, I didn't even want to waste my time. Oh, uh, dude, uh, dude, you will laugh how bad it. You know what? If I if I could find Killer Season, because I think I had it on DVD, I bought it on DVD. I was <laughs> trying to buy whatever. Dude, it's trash though. Like, <laughs> it's not bad. like. It's not so it's not not as good as Belly. No, nowhere near. It's like dude Cam <laughs> directed it. Like it was it was real choppy. It was it was real low budget. No. Well, can, like, can you explain the plot? <laughs> or you can't. Oh. <laughs> if you ask me what's the first scene that comes to mind, <laughs> all I know, all I remember is one of the scenes had. Cam is a drug dealer, obviously, and like yeah. a woman. Was his name Cam in the movie? Did he play himself. He basically did, but oh. I do remember one scene where a chick 
was basically a, a, a donkey and she had drugs in her ass and she had to shit out <laughs> and she had to shit out the drugs. Like I do remember. They showed that. it? Yeah, like I'm like, hey, this, movie is, this movie wild, dude. Like it's low budget. Like some low low budget movies like um uh 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 I got the hookup, you know what I'm saying? Like those rap movie hood classics. Yeah. Like, cool. yeah. This wasn't a classic. It's just like what is this? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, State Property, that's a hood classic. That's a low-budget yeah. hood classic. To put some thought this, into it, right? Yeah, I mean, this wasn't, this was just Cam just saying, I'm a drug dealer and my friends are drug dealers and we're going to glamorize this. Right? <laughs> you love me because I'm Cam. Here's a movie. Give me money. <laughs> <laughs> was this after uh, Paid in Full or before? After. Oh, okay. Well, he, he was probably riding off of that success, too. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, that's one of the scenes I remember. First scene that comes to <laughs> mind. When I, a so girl. Wikipedia, it, it stars Cameron, Joel Santana, Hell Rail, and Funkmaster Flex. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Directed what by, produced Flex? by, written by, starring Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> what was Flex's role? I don't know. Uh, he would, played himself. Was it, oh, he, you know he what? Played somebody uh, named yeah, Fred. Hell, real, <laughs> hell, 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 real had a prominent role in that movie too. Like it was like Cam was trying to prop Hell Rail up to be the next guy. Oh yeah. Okay. No Jimmy in there. He was in there, but Hell Rail was like he was trying to push Hell Rail up. Because no. Hell Rail and J.R. Ryder was supposed to be the next guys right. to take to take dipset. It didn't work. So oh Cameron's I, name was Flea in the movie. His nickname. It says loosely autobiographical. <laughs> his own transformation from a high school basketball star to a full-time heroin dealer. That's kind of his life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess so. Hmm. Oh, say it's based on he the high school. Wood. Say it's based on the life of high school basketball phenom Carlton Hines. Hmm. Whoever that is. Cam played against uh, Steph Marbury too in high school. Mm -hmm. That's funny. I bought the Killer Season album, but I never saw the movie. Yeah, that's kind of funny. You're a dipset stand. You're <laughs> right, a dipset stand like I just, me. I just never sat around and watched it. I don't know. Dude, I'm pretty sure. I'm going I'm to, you know what? I'm going to try to look for that movie tomorrow. I'm going to give it to one of y'all so y'all check it out. <laughs> like, you know. No, Joe, don't give nah, it to you. I was just about to say <laughs> I hit Zeke with that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit probably See, I know, on YouTube. Now, nah, if you co-sign it, now nah, I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? You tell it, you give it me bad. No, no, no. <laughs> Dude, I mean, it's 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 a, it's, I mean, you've wasted two hours of your time before. It was, yeah. you know, killer season. So that's all I'm saying. Like, it's funny. Like, this is terrible. Like, how did he even this come is on like, YouTube. Dude, this shit was on circ. It was in Circuit City back in the day. Like you had, I bought. Think about, it, I bought right. it, Joe. I gave it money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I actually bought this shit. Right. Because I was a dipset stand. So I guess it. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, it's I'm not the biggest belly fan, but I watch it repeatedly just because Nas and DMX is nothing but hip hop. Method Man, just nothing but hip hop stars in it. So I feel I have to watch it. Like, actually, actually, unlike Killer Season, Belly has classic lines. <laughs> oh, no, I'm saying, oh, Belly is, it's like a good, bad movie, like, you know what I'm saying, like you say, it got, it got moments in it, but it's, you know what I'm saying, uh, the last 15 minutes you could do without. Yeah. Minutes, that stupid cowboy scene they're looking at in the fucking mansion, <laughs> little kids. Cowboys. Bang, bang. Oh, the movie. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying, a little shit like that, like, I could have done without, but. I mean, if you co-sign in the purple haze, man, you know, I didn't. I didn't co. I didn't co-sign killer season. I just said, <laughs> Give it it's a shot. just you know, it's <laughs> something to waste your time with for two hours. I mean, you it's you got on, time, it's, Joe. It's on, it's on YouTube. You can pull it up. It's about two hours. The soundtrack wasn't bad though, low key though. Yeah. Soundtrack wasn't. Soundtrack yeah, was hey, decent. Hell yeah. 
That was a no, no killer season. Killer season. Oh, killer season. Okay, okay. I'm about to say, yeah, yeah, purple haze. I'm thinking purple haze. Okay. Killer <clears> season. Killer season. Switching top, switching lanes uh, from hip hop to, to sports, man. What's what's what y'all think about the MVP race? I got a bone to pick with it, man. Speaking. I was gonna say something else, but I don't want to pause. But um. <laughs> I have a problem with everyone discrediting Devin Booker and, and Donovan Mitchell. And the reason is, is that you got number one and number two seed in the better conference, right? So if this was LeBron, if this was Joker is already in the top three for the MVP race and his team, not even a top five, it's not even a top three seed team. But Donovan and Spider, Donovan, Donovan and Booker, they don't get no respect. Like, why is that? Like, if Luca was in a top three seed, Dallas, Maverick, dude, y'all would be saying Luca's the MVP. But Luca's not in it. But y'all still put Luca as a top ten MVP, and he's ahead of Devin uh, Booker and Donovan. Why is that? Now, are you mad that they're not even mentioned, or do you mad that they're not actually like in the, you know, like? Um... Uh, 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 um, like a Damian Lillard to me is, uh, 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 I don't think he's gonna win the the the. He's not a this year's a bad example, but it like the, a, like last year, maybe the year before that. You know what I'm saying? He definitely should have at least been mentioned. He's been he's gone seasons where he wasn't even a thought. You know what I'm saying? When when if you really watch basketball, he definitely should have been mentioned. Like. Or Which do you, I do. You feel like they should be like really in the running. Like, what? What is your your anger? Like, they're not even being mentioned. They're not even, be, they're not even being mentioned, dude. And if 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 like I said, if LeBron was a number one seed, or if Luca was a number one seed, yeah, yeah. people would say Luca would definitely win the MVP. Yeah, that's a good LeBron point. should win it. But spite like Donovan Mitchell has led his team. They got the best two records. In the in the NBA, and they're not even mentioned. That's what bullshit. Up? What type of what they put? What what they putting up? I know they I know they get buckets. But what else they doing? I mean, you know, uh, Spider's putting up twenty five five and five. Booker putting up like twenty six five and four, which is very MVP caliber. Like on the one and two seed at that, right? In the one and two seed in the harder conference, right? So yeah. they doing all this in a harder conference, and they ain't get no love. All I hear is jo- all I hear is Joker, Embiid, and uh, I I I used to hear KD. Um, I'm hearing Dame now, and I'm hearing a little bit of Luca, but I don't hear Booker and Donovan, and I think that's mad disrespectful. And when Luca gets a number one two one seed or a two seed, and y'all start saying Luca, I'm I'm a resort I'm a resort to this. I'm gonna be like, dude, where was this love for for Booker and Mitchell? That's all I'm gonna say. No, I feel you. They, got, they, I, they dropped the MVP the ladder uh, three days ago. NBA.com story. They got Embiid. No, Joker number one. Let me see. Sam Lillard number two. Three Embiid. Four Giannis. Five Disrespect. Harden. Disrespect. And the next five, they didn't even write a like those five. They wrote a little paragraph on the. The last five, they just put their name on there. Luca, Kyrie. They put Luca and Kyrie tied for six. Hawaii at seven. LeBron at eight. Nine and ten. Devin and Chris Paul. Disrespectful. And, and they put a and five more. So this is like honorable mention. Steph, Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, Jimmy Butler, Heat culture, and Zion. Dude, I'm about to be I'm about to be a jazz fan off the strength, man. Like, it's, a lot, <laughs> it's a lot of disrespect to the jazz, man. Like Donovan Mitchell been balling, man. Jazz are currently been... number one. They got the best number... record in the league. No love. You think he's you think he uh he, he deserves more more attention than 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 the Joker? I'm yeah, looking at I'm I'm only as I'm looking at their numbers now. Like you know what I'm saying? I'm pulling it up now, like. Donovan I, don't, I don't know what Donovan look, and uh, no 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 I'm 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 cool with Joker getting his mentions I'm okay this shit is with crazy 
I, I I want Donovan and Booker to get their love. Like, dude, they should they be not, up. They don't play for a sexy team. That's what say. it is. That <laughs> don't what, make it right, though. I, I, I feel you. No, man. it don't make it right. One and two seeds. If, all... if, this, if this was LeBron at one or two seeds, we'd be gargling right now. Like, <laughs> LeBron. But, dude, because it's Booker and Donovan, no one wants to give them love. And that's disrespectful, man. Hey, like Donovan, LeBron said, we didn't, we didn't pick the Utah Jazz on NBA 2 Dude, I don't give a fuck, man. Like, <laughs> your play is how you play, man. That's gay, man. That's whack. It's you know times, what I'm saying? That's, that's super whack, man. To your point, it's times where cats – had lesser numbers but still got it because of the the being the best record in the league uh, you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying <clears throat> so why all right so why now you know what i'm saying like didn't nash wasn't them sons teams what they like like number they one were, number two in the west yeah they, they were like 60 65 and 17 records or 62 and 20 records and even like, though they had a crazy real. his numbers weren't weren't just just like you know what I'm saying? Blow you out the park, you know what I'm saying? Compared to like the who, who else was in the league? Kobe was in the league, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. from a shooter standpoint, Nash numbers were blow you up. No, they were crazy. I'm just saying, but they weren't like uh Steph 2016 numbers, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what no. I'm saying? Like he was 50 40 90, wasn't he? Yeah, Nash was 50 40 90. Oh, yeah, he was the original 50 40 90 that I that I could remember like when I started. Hearing about no, that, Larry, those that triple double number that, that uh Larry Larry Bird number. should Larry Bird should be your first guy you think of. I'm saying as a kid, I didn't you know. What I'm saying? Oh my bad, I'm sorry, Joe. My bad, my bad. I'm saying as a kid, I didn't recognize them numbers. You know what I'm saying? I it did, but I started paying attention to that like that. You know what I'm saying? I did, but <laughs> somebody get this guy cookie, man. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> someone no, challenged saying, someone you, challenged you know, me though. No. To your point, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I feel you on that, man. What'd you call it? Uh, Seriously, though, Joe, be, like, mention it. yeah, they should be above. They should be in the top five. That's all I'm asking. Like, you don't even have to win it. I'm not asking for Booker to Mitchell to win it. No. I'm asking, I'm saying, like, they should get way more respect than what, dude, they shouldn't be in nine and 10 and 11. Yeah, dude, you that, ask, I mean, you ask anybody like Barkley or one of them, man, the top five MVP candidates. Barkley might put Chris Paul in there because he he's been arguing for them, but ain't nobody gonna put Donovan in there. Right. I am. I'm putting Donovan up there, man. But I, I have been hearing people talking, throwing the the Donovan thing out there. Like you know, that's been their argument on on inside the NBA. Barkley been saying why why are they not getting mentioned because they got the best record in the league. Right. Shaq be, Shaq be saying it's more than the record and all that. But Which that's it is. It is, but he's still putting up numbers and they winning. So yeah. if that's the case, you gotta get them. You gotta put them in there. You you gotta be at least a top five. They should at least be, dude. They should be above LeBron. LeBron ain't played in like three weeks. <laughs> right. LeBron is still <laughs> above them. Like, yeah. come on, man. True. True. That's disrespectful. Who, who do you have like of, of? I mean, who do you have like? You know what I'm saying? And Honestly, I, I think I think I think the Joker or MB deserved it. No. I, but I think the Joker and Bede have they've been consistent. They've been they played all their games except Embiid. I think he took like two weeks to yeah, the injury. Was, yeah. But I think why, Joker is. Why isn't Donovan over Embiid? Donovan ain't missed no games, has he? I I would have Donovan number three. You know what why I'm saying? Why is he like, not two? Embiid's numbers are crazy. Yeah, he's than pretty. His numbers are pretty. Oh, uh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, Embiid putting up 30, 11, 30, 12, and like two, something right. crazy, and four assists. And a block and a steal. And, and a block. Yeah, Embiid's numbers are like crazy. Hell, uh, J- Joker shit is even even more. Yeah, they they number one in the East, too. Uh, six one. Man, dude. I got Joker, man. I'm, let me see. I see twenty. He putting up Joker putting up 26, 10, eight, nine assists, eight point seven nine assists, and and no, a that's steal eight. and a half. That's, huh? eight. that's eight. That's eight. No, <laughs> <laughs> mathematically, that's, that's eight. A, no, but no, that's eight. The seven round up. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I, I if it's nine, it'll be if it if it's nine, it will be nine. It's not nine yet. But it's nine, not eight nine. either. Can't, can't so get you gotta go job. by the math rule. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody, he's eight, average, somebody average nineteen. No, no, nine, it's not twenty points to him. Thank you, Ricky Way quote. 
Ricky Schway <laughs> quote. Dame time putting up 29 and seven. That, that, not that that's big. Let's yeah, give him not, eight, 29 and eight, because he's at 7.7. 7. I you know said I give him eight. Well, he better have his, he, he better have a game with 10 assists. He'll be at eight. <laughs> <All> right. <laughs> so does Joker though. <laughs> Joker's at eight. <laughs> and, and you got the Greek freak 28-11. That's still 28-11, six assists. He got five. Blocking a steal. Uh uh Zeke, who you got as an MVP? Zach Levine. Come on, man. <laughs> Can you be serious? Uh, I probably have to make it. It has to be Embiid or. Uh, probably Embiid. Embiid. Yeah. I'm I got no joking. Problem. From these numbers? Shit. Embiid got a better. His team is better, though. His, his overall yeah. record. Joker not even a top five squad. They I think they like five seed. Who got the he better doing, team around uh, him? Philly. That's who got the better Joker. team around? No, who got the better team around? Oh no, like they both are comparable. Denver's team is not bums, dude. They just play in a hard conference. Yeah, and they're, yeah, they're, and they're in a tougher conference. Yeah, but if you're in a tougher conference, you at least got to be in the top three. He's not even in the top three seed. I'm saying I'm going I'm based off these numbers, strength of the conference. I got to go with joking myself. As we speak, Jamal Murray just went down with an injury. Mm. I'm serious. Or? They, they brought the wheelchair out, but Ooh. he refused it. But he couldn't walk on his own power. And he refused. Some, some with his knee, yeah. He pushed the wheelchair out the way, but he had he was on had his arms on the on their shoulders. He couldn't put no pressure on it. It might be denial. Yeah, could be. It was some with his knee though. I got a question for Zeke. Are you a fan? Uh, are you a fan? Uh, 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 the guy that uh, hobbles with both his teammates, or, or you, you want the wheelchair? Like, well, you, you don't like that, or no? I respect him pushing the wheelchair away. <laughs> <laughs> Something I would do. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't need that. Don't let my teammates help me out. Let my staff help me to the locker room. <laughs> don't put me in the wheelchair. My leg, I have to be, you have to be broke for that. So Paul Pierce is God. Man, nah, Paul Pierce had to no shit. <laughs> he, he shitted on himself, man. <laughs> it's, it's confirmed that he shitted on himself. He, real he ate ham? Yeah, he ate ham. He shitted on himself <laughs> twice. That's what Twan Walker said. He said he shitted on himself. That's why, that's why he took the wheelchair. And he had, and he had all white on. <laughs> Did yeah, Paul Pierce right. say that though? Yeah, he said it in a podcast. He said he did. Dude, Paul said, Pierce said it. No, no, I said twenty. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm saying that Paul that Pierce confirmed. You think Paul Pierce is going to confirm? And say After all these shit. years, I, I would, I would like, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let the cat out the bag. <laughs> uh, the shit on myself. <laughs> he said he had all. Twan said he had all all white, so he had to take the wheelchair. <laughs> he came back that game, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, he, he came back in. Yeah, yeah, he changed himself. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Got through that jock strap dead in his garbage. Burn it, <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Take this and burn it. Uh, oh, did y'all? Well, I know mention for Steph for MVP. Why we on that talk? Bad Steph record. Curry. Yeah. When he's on the when he's off the court, the team is terrible. He got fifty right now. 52, actually, 10 threes. Empty calories, bad. right? To me, them empty calories. Bad team. Mm. Best player. Right. You said empty yeah. calories? Yeah. Because he can do the same. Don't get me wrong. He could do that. You know, he did it with KD and them, but not nearly as it like he's doing now. Like, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It looks like he's the only mm. option, though. Consistent option. 
Yeah. So, sort of like AI in 2001, right? The only option, right? He got MVP. Yep. Yeah. yeah huh? Took him to the finals that year, right? Yeah, he was the only option. He wanted it that way. He wanted to be the only scorer on that team. Why you say that? Yeah, why you say he, that? He denied, he turned trades down as him? He didn't want no, he wanted to, his name is Bubba Chuck for a reason. He wanted all the shots. <laughs> so you think they was like, yo, we could get you some help. But he was like, nah. Huh? You think they told him like, yo, we could sign such and such player. And he was like, nah, I don't do that. I think that he formed that team of Matumbo and Eric <laughs> Snow and Raja Bill and, it, 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 and got a bunch of goons and said, anytime y'all get the rebound, give it to me. I'm shooting it. Wow. All right. And he didn't listen to Larry Brown at all. So he got Bubba Chuck. Yeah, he said that in that draft doc. Yeah. He said he wish he would have listened to him earlier in his career. <laughs> Didn't listen to him at all. When he said when he listened to him, he became an MVP. <laughs> Joe, Joe, I've al- I've always told you and Zeke, hmm. and I'll go on record on saying this: Allen Iverson is a freak of nature. He's the talent. greatest NBA player. He's a freak of nature. The greatest talent. guard. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. I got like I got like five top guards five two it. guard, dude. Top five two guard. So you got him wow. after. Uh, uh, you got Kobe, Jordan, Wade. Who else? Uh, Damn. <laughs> Jordan Wade. <laughs> <laughs> He's four, right there, like <laughs> James Harden got better Harden, numbers. I would say it's hard to believe. James Harden. Harden. Yeah, James Harden got better numbers than they are. All right, so we're at five. We'll give me. <laughs> <laughs> I got low key though. I got Jesus above AI. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I got Jesus. I got Jesus. Jesus don't have an MVP though. Jesus got two rings though. And he got clutch shots. That's <laughs> a clutch shot. Iverson do too. Uh, he does, but he not, not not any meaningful. Are you trolling right now, Rick? <laughs> you get, you, Me? You you nag? You pulling Isaiah's uh, coattail? Or you do? From- no, no, no. I'm. Just, I think I got. I got as much as do. I would love. I, I think Allen Iverson is better than D Wade, but D Wade is a better student of the game, and he improved yeah, over he time. D Wade. He improved. A player too. So. <clears throat> yeah. Much- I wouldn't say much better, but you know, a little bit better. D Way, I got Kobe. I mean, Mike Kobe, D Way. Uh, I mean, if you want to go old school, you got to go to the Jerry Wesses and the Elgin Baylors of the world, but I didn't see them. Um, damn, I'm missing somebody. You going to laugh at is me. Clay, is Clay above AI? Nah, Clay ain't above AI. No. No, clearly not. Um, low key, I don't even look at AI as a, as a two. He really a point guard, man. But he's so he 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 really a point guard. AI True. is really a. He should have been a point guard, but he ain't one. Right, listen. he should have been. Uh, so that's a negative, actually. If you really, <laughs> that's really a negative. Like he, he's he's a point guard that shoots too much. <laughs> no, it's, no, because it's a bunch of point guards that shoot too much. Steph Curry is a point guard that shoots a lot, but he doesn't shoot too much. He shoots a lot, but it, you know, what I'm saying everything is relative. Like, what's too much and what's a lot? You know, what I'm saying what's a lot and what's too much. You know, what I'm saying like, yeah, okay. Ru- Russell shoots a lot, but you know, what I'm saying he's a point guard. D Rose shoots a lot in his prime, but he, he's a point, point guard. guard. But I don't, he but shoot I don't, a lot. D Rose. D Rose. Yeah, he had to though. Them teams but I, yeah, trying. but I'm saying there's still a difference between too much and a lot. Like I say, yeah, D Rose and and those are excellent examples. They both shoot a lot, but I wouldn't say too much though. Okay. You know yeah, I wouldn't say D Rose shoots too much. He had to on those teams. Which means he shoots you had, a lot. He shot a lot. Yeah, he a had lot. to. <laughs> 
Yeah. Like, I don't think we was ever said, man, D-Rose, pass it. Stop shooting so much. No, nah, <laughs> no, nah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Because you're D-Rose right. jumper wasn't even that great. It still ain't that great somehow. <laughs> Allen Iverson's jumper was great. <sighs> but but now that I was it well, you mentioned that, like you, to your point, what do you say, my boy? AI jumper was better than D-Rose, wasn't it? Mm. 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 <laughs> is streaky. And but yeah. AI is streaky. But AI was streaky, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a that's a nice wait a minute. Wait a it's a lie. So T Mac is above AI. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey man. T Mac. <laughs> <laughs> You probably, you, probably put, might be you probably put your boy ahead of uh, Mitch Richmond, The Rock. Hey, Mitch Richmond was a bad motherfucker. <laughs> hey, man, he, hey, hey, I'm about to go, oh, he was a bad son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> What's up about Mitch? <laughs> Mitch Richmond was a, Mitch, hey, Mitch Richmond was a bad son of a gun back in the day, man. <laughs> Mitch, the Rock. <laughs> they called him The Rock, man. He was, he was good, man. Look at his stats. They call AI yeah. the answer. Yeah, T Mac. Even though T Mac doesn't have the success that AI has, yeah. talent wise. Oh yeah, yeah. talent wise, yeah. I mean, but a lot. Nice. Goes, I mean, if you're talking greatness, a lot more goes into AI too, because like this dude was like a not just it transcended basketball. Like he was a cultural. Yeah. Icon, like you know, what I'm saying. Um, listen, listen, Joe. Strictly if we're court. talking about if we're strictly if we're talking about off the court, the motherfucker is probably top three of all time. Yeah. Okay, like, like right, right. we're not going. I'm Change not the face to, of basketball. Yeah, I'm not here to argue that. I'm not right, arguing right, right. that. That that definitely gets a top three mention. But all on the court, nah. I I can mention like six or seven shooting guards better. Yeah, I mean, it's been it's been show. It's been uh, I've seen this. It was for a little while. The talk was going around that he actually was like, what are he's like one of the worst basketball players of all time? <laughs> if you by the advanced analytics, you know, what I'm saying AI? Like efficiency, yeah, yeah, his player efficiency wow. rating, his PER and all that. Oh, well, okay. that's, that's someone that doesn't watch and just that does it, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Right. You look at AI. And yeah, he might shoot nine for 28, but like he's gonna make the clutch shot. You know what I'm saying? Like he's right. a clutch guy. That's hard. That's that's the shit that can't that's, here's can't. a cliche. That's something that doesn't go in the box <laughs> in the in the, in the, in the, in the box, the score box. Exactly. But hey, I was he, he's a man. Hey, you need to pull up Mitch the Rock and uh, AI's numbers, man. You'll be surprised. Mitch Richmond, <laughs> Mitch Richmond can hang hang with AI, man. Like he can hang. With Mitch Richmond never averaged thirty. Huh? True. It's he only never, he he never averaged thirty, but it's only like five huh. people in the last twenty years that averaged thirty. I'm sure, there's more than that. Seven. <laughs> Wait, how long? In the last 20, 30 years or so, it's not that mean people that have averaged thirty in a in a in a season. I can get I can more give than them seven. Season. In the T-Mac. last, you said the last twenty years. Let's go thirty. Jordan, Carl Malone, yeah. Kobe, Kobe, AI, T Mac, Harden, 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 KD, KD, Russ. The average thirty. Russ average thirty. Now you, now you. Is Steph doing thirty yet? <laughs> yeah, Steph did do thirty. You, you say you're right. You say LeBron. Damn, Damn. ten. My bad. That's still not a lot in the getting into yeah. the pantheon. We had, we had to think to get to ten. <laughs> mm. Shaq never averaged thirty. Right. Yeah. Shaq. Mm. Dirk. Did Dirk average thirty? Never. Mm-mm. Neither did Carmelo, who's better. Who's a better wow. scorer? Pound. Who's a better pound for pound scorer? Better Dame. Than AI. Dame never averaged thirty. You sure? Yeah. Paul George neither. Well, Paul Pierce. No. Elijah Wan never averaged thirty. Neither did David Robinson. No, oh, here we go. The last fourteen players to average thirty. You, can, well, I, can, <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I? 
This is going back to the 80s, though. World be free. Yep. Kiki Vandaway. Uh, no. Bernard Kiki King. Put on? Bernard King is on here. Uh, hold on. I can mention 14. We already mentioned 10 of them. So those 10. Buddy from the Pistons. Uh, Buddy from the Pistons. Before, before, before they got jealous once, once, uh, once Isaiah came. Adrian, Adrian Danley, no. He never yeah, got Danley. Yep. Danley did on his third. He didn't, not with the Pistons, he did it with the Mavericks. Okay. So, uh, uh, real quick, uh, The Rock, 21 3 and 3. Career? Yeah. Highest scoring year was 25 with Sacramento, 97. Yeah. I didn't say he was a better scorer than, but he can, he can go up with Al. Al yeah. That's all I'm saying. His first eight seasons, he averaged over 20. His first eight. He never averaged under 20. Right. That's pretty good. Consistency. Consistency. Who do y'all have as a better score, Melo or AI? Pound for pound, like a better score, like a pure Brits. Yeah, I do too, man. Not even, to me, it's not even close. Ooh. You said not close with who? With AI and Melo. Who'd you pick? Melo. Melo. Yeah, Melo. Melo would get it. He'll score a lot easier than AI. Yeah, the shit that AI, the AI had to do with all his twisting. Yeah. Acrobatics, that's that's those are hard buckets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Melo definitely gets yeah. you. Yeah, would... he gets you 22 smooth too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, and then that is six eight and uh right six one if, if AI is six five, it's a different story. Oh man, but... Kobe said that he said the, the world better be lucky AI wasn't six five. Hmm. Yeah. That means that means he definitely wouldn't have worked on his basketball skills even more. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. He definitely he definitely wasn't in the gym in the summertime at all. Yeah, no. Crazy. Hey, dude, that's that's what that's what makes me upset about AI. Like, if he actually worked on his game, you know how much better he could have been. Dude, he could have been fucking a top ten player. Imagine he, him. they said about dude. Shaq. And Shaq was great. Right. Do you put Kobe's mind and AI's in body, dude? He would have been the oh, best point guard man. ever. Imagine if he ran <laughs> drills and shit and, and like and like all the shit like Steph Curry do, the shit that's like robotic with Steph. Oh yeah, AI oh, AI wasn't doing no dribbling drills. <laughs> with his natural athletic ability and oh man. Do <laughs> it. AI, dude. That's why I tell Zeke. I said, dude, AI would have been a top ten player if he would apply. Dude, he was. A, he's a top thirty player of all time, and he didn't apply himself. That's crazy. He even. He didn't even try. Yeah. Crazy. It was all. Hard. Even, it was. It was uh, game day. Like I want to win. Like you know what I'm saying. He didn't practice. He didn't. He didn't work out during the summer. He didn't give a fuck. They <laughs> <laughs> say pass the Heineken and mind your business. <laughs> Basically, AI did not care. That's why I couldn't. That's why I couldn't be. That's why I couldn't like him. <laughs> he, he he didn't care about. He didn't care about the game. Like I always like the Kobe's and the the Jesus Shuttlesworth. Like the motherfuckers always wanted to get better. Like they that's always wanted. Hurts, right. Yeah, they always wanted to do shit to make themselves better. Like Kobe had the talent. He had the gene. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It he do his his mental his his drive took him overboard. You know right. what I'm saying? Like you said, like what if Shaq really cared about basketball? I mean, he liked <laughs> basketball, but like, what if he didn't have all that extra shit? What if he really worked on his game? Then it, dude, well, he would average forty. Right? Oh, hell yeah! You put you put Clyde over AI? Nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Clyde was cold. I put man. Clyde over AI. Whoa! 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 whoa. <laughs> but it's not. I mean, it's only because of uh, just Clyde is a bigger player. He scored easier. Like, you know what I'm saying? He took his team to the championship, too. He bumped into Mike. True. Oh, yeah, true. When he bumped into – wait. Oh, oh, in the Portland. I thought you said yeah, Pete Portland, Myers. Yeah, Portland, yeah. You thought he said Pete Myers. No, I thought you said he beat Mike. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. no. Oh. <clears throat> he went to the finals twice. Yeah, Houston. 
the two times that he came there, he got the the two rings with uh for King. Oh, I didn't see the whole article. Say so he got to the finals twice. He got turned back by Detroit and the Bulls. Yeah, in ninety and ninety-two. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yep. Isaiah, Isaiah and Jody beat him. Yeah. Do low key, if if AI really like, do I would love to put AI over Isaiah Thomas, but I can't. Like I can't. Isaiah like, Thomas was a shooting guard. Nah, but like they the same type of frame, type of guy. Oh yeah, yeah. But like I still got Isaiah Thomas over AI, just because he had a little bit more heart and he did anything willing. Like he's doing, he's willing to win at, at any cost. Mm-hmm. AI wanted to win. Win at AI wanted cost. to win at any cost too. No, he didn't. He wanted to do it on his terms. That's why he didn't listen to Larry Brown, who's one of the greatest basketball minds of all time, by the way. <laughs> dude, what's the uh, Sixers owner, the ball white dude, Pat Pat Croce? Pat Croce, Croce, yeah. He was on the pod, and he said when AI used to get hurt, they would have to hide his jersey. Yeah, football mentality. Hmm. And then he said one time he found the jersey, but he didn't have no shoes. So he told the ball boy, hey, go to Foot Locker, give me some Reeboks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. And they had to stop the ball boy from doing it. Then he says he saw somebody, like a concession person or something with some shoes, like, yo, give me your shoes so I can play. Wow. <laughs> oh, <no. Dang. laughs> that's how Joe is on the playground. He always wants to play. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy, that's, that's for somebody who don't practice and all that, that's some crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, yo, I got to play mentality. I mean, but part of part of being great is coachability, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Look at Mike, you know what I'm saying? He took, he went ahead and accepted Phil Jackson's philosophy, <clears throat> started spreading the ball around the triangle offense, you know what I'm saying? He was mm-hmm. used to the Doug Collins. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, do it my way. All right, just play number one. Give it to Mike. <laughs> play number two. Yeah. Give it. He was used to that, you know what I'm saying? He, yeah. he was coachable, you know what I'm saying? And Mike even said in that in the documentary that Doug is the is the most like he loved Doug the most, but Phil was the one that got him. Like he loved Doug like a mm. like a friend. Like he really loved Doug. He hated to see him fire, but mm. Phil got him to that to that promised land. Actually, it wasn't Phil. It was Tex Winter, but, you know, <laughs> basketball nerd moment. Yeah, it was definitely Tex Winter. It wasn't Phil. Phil bought into Tex Winter. Yeah. That, that's how it became. I could have came, came with a triangle. What's that? None. I would say I could have came with a triangle. I just, had a, <laughs> I just had a Zeke moment. I could have came with that shit. Keep yeah. moving. Keep moving, have it in a triangle, like yo, everyone touches the ball. Right. If if you really look at it, all <laughs> it is is today's uh, uh space and pace with but they at that era they were in love with the big man, so they had to incorporate the big man mm-hmm. and start the triangle. Yeah. Exactly. It was but it was and, really motion, the original like motion type offense for basketball, like. And, and you made everyone a threat. Like everyone in that on right. the court is a threat. Right. That's what the whole point. Whereas Doug Collins' system was like, get the fuck out the way, let Jordan do his thing. But like the triangle mm-hmm. gets everyone involved. So like now, you, be, no, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no, nah, go ahead. I was about to talk about some other shit. Go ahead. I was gonna say, and you see in the latest highlights of Jordan's career. You don't see him really doing one-on-one shit, ISO shit. It's all pass, nah. cut, office type shit. Yeah, it's fluent mm-hmm. office type shit. You know what I'm saying? I was just gonna say uh, uh, that Washington hire was clearly a loyalty. Uh, Doug Collins, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had a thing with that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I remember. I remember like when I was short. I remember him like. Being mad at management with uh, what do you want it, Charles Davis or somebody that I forgot this cat that came from uh, he played for North Carolina. 
and they and they didn't they didn't pick him, and he was mad at management. Charles Davis was horrible, dude. Like, he had a couple people that he pined for that, that, you know what I'm saying? It was just pure loyalty shit. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but I digress. Yo, once again, dope show, Sports Life and Hip Hop. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Check us out on IG, SLHH Pod. Um, all, the, all the streaming networks. All that, well, you know the, what I'm saying? The merch, the merch, God, the merch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fuck with us on Dope Fits, dopeassfits.com for the latest, not the latest, but the fly shit in hip hop <laughs> <and> sports. <laughs> yeah. um, and check us out on, on, on the streaming services Spotify, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your joints, man. Sports Life of Hip Hop. Once again, the usual crew got my man Zeke, the one and only Ricky Sweet. And I'm Channel 7. Peace. That's right. I gotta take them off the head. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? Know Just like we come through, better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody to sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be original. You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't, I'm ready when you are.